Well, we've lived in this house since 2001, and it has been hot. Always hot in the summer. And cold in the winter. And cold in the winter. We have never, it's like a tank. It's just, it, it's just always hot. When we first moved into the house, I would say that we were hitting probably 350 a month. Definitely. But then as we, as we added the first AC, or replaced out the existing AC, and then added a new AC, this last year we hit uh, 470, which that didn't accomplish anything, uh, except our bills went up. Horizon Energy Systems was coming up on the uh, front page of the, of the Google website's response page. And then further, I found that article on AZ Central on the Republic's website for Horizon and read that article. And it was interesting, probably more interesting than the article was the comments, you know, that accompany the article. And some of the comments were, uh, you know, definitely adverse to Horizon and some were very positive and talking about the engineering of the, of how a house works and how an attic works in, in relation to the house. And that, that was actually kind of the trigger to call because of the fact that when, when the competitor came out, there wasn't much discussion at all as to how a house actually works. It was more, here's a solution that we will implement. Um, whereas with Horizon, and in particular, the, the comments to the article, there was so much about the engineering. And then finally, spending some time on Horizon's website, where it's very intensive on, in the engineering, and then calling Brad and you know, an hour long discussion about how a house functions and how heat dissipates. Um, clearly it was worth a meeting to have you come out. So we're gonna implement uh, Horizon's proposal this week, consisting of a radiant barrier, uh, of vent fans, um, new ductwork, or reseal the existing ductwork with additional new ductwork. And um, the proposal is that we are going to have a extremely comfortable home, a home that will, will not require AC to run 24 hours a day as it does now in the summer, a proposal that will eliminate some sewer gases, um, a proposal that will also allow us to uh, lure electricity bills, but all the while having comfort that we've never had in this house. So to be perfectly honest, Brad, um, if we can hit 70% of that, we're gonna be ecstatic. When we started this process at looking at um, solving the fact that the house was always hot, we called a number of companies and we had quite a few come out and it seemed like a packed solution, a standard solution. And I didn't feel like we were um, achieving what I was trying to set out to do. We called Horizon Energy, which was easily the, the fourth or fifth company that I called on this. And Horizon Energy uh, representatives came out and they were the first team to not have a pack solution. They actually looked at the house, they went up in the attic, they were able to give scientific reasons on why we want to use his company. And in particular, he, uh, the discussion by Horizon regarding air as a fluid and how the, the fluidity of the air in your attic and, the, and how that'll work was what sealed the deal for us. So we ended up choosing Horizon Energy. So the work that uh, we contracted with Horizon to do and what Horizon pr uh, proposed was the installation of a thermal membrane, the installation of not one, but two uh, attic fans, German attic fans. And we had, we'd, we'd heard this proposal from other companies, uh, but his fan was noticeably larger and much more industrial. And, and I was questioning that and he said, well, you want a stronger fan because it's gonna be running a lot and you want to get the air out. So you need a stronger fan than what other companies are proposing. And that, that made sense to me. And then the third thing that he did is he sealed up all the duct work. And he was the, uh, Horizon was the only contractor to actually treat our attic as two different attics, which is legitimate because we, had, we raised the ceiling and it created two separate parts of the house. And so he, he, was, he individually treated the situations that we had 
and solve the problems that we had that way. And, as a, and one of the other things is we almost delayed going with Horizon Energy because we had a sewer problem. And by that I mean we had sewer smells in the back bedroom uh, in the third bathroom. And I casually referenced this to Horizon and, uh, and saying that we needed to delay the project. And immediately the representative from Horizon said, well, I can solve that problem. You don't even know what I'm talking about. He's like, no, don't worry about it. I can solve that problem. You have negative air pressure. I didn't even know what that really meant. And what that meant was the attic was taking in more air uh, than had been, or the HVAC was taking in more air than was actually being released back into the house, which was creating a negative air pressure. So the ratio should be at one, and we weren't achieving one. And so his point was that to, for the house to achieve one, it was pulling through the sewer lines or through the ground um, the air such that we were having sewer smells in the back bedroom. I'd had two or three plumbers, I'd had other companies come through here, and nobody gave me that explanation. And we were looking at trying to solve this problem for over a year, and we were at the point where we were gonna rip into the wall to redo our plumbing lines, thinking that that was the problem. The second benefit, and why we, why we wanted to do all this, was comfort to the house. And that has been remarkable. Uh, before, we, uh, we've owned this house now 10 years, for the last three or four years, we could not get our house during the summer below 80 degrees. It just, the AC ran 24 seven, and the house was always, if it got to 80 or 79 degrees, that was a, that was a good day, right? It always felt hot, and with the air always being on, it always made the no house very noisy, which, which created, now that the house is quiet, you see it created like a little bit of a fatigue and a noise factor in the house that we're thrilled is gone. Yeah, so, so right off the top, we noticed the sewer smell was gone. And then when we had this work done um, in, the, in the late winter, we noticed that the heat hardly ever came on, but the house stayed comfortable. Since now summer has rolled around, uh, that, you know, we can take our house down at night to 70, 72 degrees quite easily. Uh, it runs, you know, the HVAC comes on, it runs for a few minutes, and then it shuts back off again, and the temperature stays very comfortable. One of the, the remarkable things is that before we had fans in every room, sometimes they were ceiling fans, sometimes they were the upright fans that you, you buy at Walmart or Costco or something, and we would run them in every kid's bedroom. Now the kids don't want them on because they get too cold. Likewise, th this past week we hit 110 or something, and I had the fans on, I had the vertical fan on next to my bed, and I had to get up uh, two nights in a row to turn it off because of, uh, you know, I woke up with a sniffle at 2 a.m., so I got up and shut the fan off. We couldn't be happier with Horizon. They, they, they set out a plan, they did the work, uh, they did the work timely. It was probably more work than they contemplated. They kept it at the price that we agreed upon. Immediately the sewer smell was gone, immediately the house was comfortable, and now that we've hit the hot part of the summer, exactly what we was our original objective has been met. And so we now have a house that is comfortable, that is cool, and uh, is exactly what we want from home. After the work was done, which was in the middle of the winter, we noticed that the house stayed a nice 
comfortable degrees, 72, 73, what have you, and we hardly ever ran the heater. I mean, the heater never came on. And before, while it wasn't running 24-7 like it was, like the HVAC units run during the summer, they would run all the time to keep the and house warm. The house warm. was always cold, but we, we'd always be wearing fleeces and things like that. We didn't so. have to do any of that. I mean, the house was just amazing. When I think back to those first two or three days, how quiet the house was. It was nice. Now that we've hit the, uh, and then we just kind of got used to it. And